Hello. Hi, are you James Wheeler, the Artist Year Theater Fellow working in Lee County Schools? Is that yes, you? Yes, I do. That's me. Oh, fabulous. Well, I have a couple questions for you, if that's sure. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just come on this way. What's up? Okay, first one is, if you had unlimited time and resources, what would you create? Oh, um, if I had unlimited time and resources, um, I really want to direct a show called Yerma by Simon Stone. Um, I've been wanting to do it since college, and if I had unlimited time and resources, then I could do it as perfectly as I see it in my brain. So I think that's what I would go with. That's so fun. Who's your artist crush? Uh, okay, right now my artist crush is Taika Waititi, um, because I'm currently watching, um, what's that show called? Uh, uh, Our Flag Means Death on Hulu, and it, him as Blackbeard is incredible. So, <laughs> If you could describe your art practice in three words, what would they be? Um, my art practice, I would say it's collaborative for me because I like to work with a lot of people. I like to work with directors. I like to work with the other actors. Or if I'm directing, I like to work with my cast really closely and my crew. Um, meditative because for me it is a, a comfort space and it makes me feel at home. Um, and then I think exciting because as calming as it is for me, it gives me a boost of energy to just be on stage and be performing or be off stage and directing. So. I love that. What's something on your artist bucket list? Uh, my artist bucket list. That's a tough one. I, gosh, I honestly, a one man show. I think a one man show, it's, it's such a daunting task to be able to do something completely by yourself. Um, but I would love to, to take that on. Nice. What's your favorite role you've ever performed? Uh, I played a role in college uh, in a show called Boy, and I played uh, Adam and Samantha. So I played a 20-something-year-old man and like a six-year-old girl um, without costume changes or lighting changes or anything. So it was a really interesting test for me. So that was, that was a huge role. What about a dream role? Do you have one? I do. I do. Um, I normally do um, straight plays and dramas, but but musicals are always fun, and one of my favorite roles of all time is from A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, and he, it's the Dicequith family. So I would play eight different roles in one show, um, and it's extremely comedic, super funny, and it would just be a, a riot to perform in. How do you get ready for a performance? Um, I have a couple things, a couple things that I do um, specifically. Um, so I really like to, first and foremost, get to the theater early before other people are there. Um, and I like to put on music. It doesn't have to be show tunes, just any kind of music. And I sit on the edge of the stage and just kind of look out into the audience where people are going to be seated. Um, it gets me ready to go. I also stretch and do some acting warm-ups that I have been taught throughout my uh, education. Very nice. What's your favorite genre of theater? Uh, well, I kind of mentioned it before, but I really like to do straight plays and dramas. I did a lot of musicals in high school, and I... Um, once I got to college, found that I just really liked the acting portion of it. I love to sing and dance, but the, the acting is where I feel the most comfortable and get the most joy out of. Are there any future projects in the works? Yes, actually. I am currently working on a uh, production that's going to start next week um, at the Encore Center uh, down in Moore County. Um, and I'm going to be in Spitfire Grill. Um, I'll be playing the lead role male character. So I'm very, very excited to get, again, a musical under my belt again. So that'd be fun. What was the first play you ever participated in? Fiddler on the Roof. I was in sixth grade, and I played the constable. I would, did not expect to have a speaking role, but I had a couple lines here and there, and it kind of just sucked me in from that point forward. If you could have dinner with anyone, who would it be? Uh, dinner with anyone, I think um, two theater artists that I can think of that I would love to have dinner with would be either Uta Hagen or Stanislavski. Um, Uta Hagen is a great... Uh, female director and playwright with a lot of really cool acting techniques. And Stanislavski, because he became uh, known for developing method acting, which I don't agree with. <laughs> and I would just love to pick his brain because it uh, turns out he didn't agree with it either when he got older. So I would love to know where he was coming from. What's a monologue you always have in your back pocket? Um, from that show that I want to direct if I had plenty of money and resources, um, time and resources. Uh, I have a show, uh, it's called Yerma, and the monologue from that at the very end is an incredible monologue that shows strength and weakness, um, and it's a, uh, I've done it for a couple auditions now, and I, I feel very strongly about it. What is a dream stage you would love to perform on? 
Uh, well, this one's great. <laughs> but um, I think it's a little bit of a cop-out answer, but I can't say no to wanting to perform at the Globe in London. There's a lot of great theaters, but as much as I'm not a huge Shakespeare person, I, I can't say no to wanting to perform on Shakespeare's stage. Fabulous. It was so nice talking to you. Thank you. Yeah, you too. So do I just go out this Yeah, way? yeah, you can just kind of head up. Or there's uh, the exits are at the right and left um, if you need them. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>